Well, I started out printing in high school. I guess probably my junior year, I worked half a day at school and, and went to work half a day. Uh, everything back then had to go to a print shop. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of screen printers around like there are today. Uh, just a lot of job shop uh, offset and uh, letterpress print shops. And so uh, I worked half a day in the implant shop and, and then just uh, started gaining experience uh, year after year and, and uh, changed jobs a few times and, and worked for some old school printers, uh, Southern printers specifically in Orange and they had started uh, back I think in 1937 and they were running a lot of letterpress and offset. I worked for them for several years and as things went on um, I kept getting more and more experience in uh, offset printing and got in between jobs uh, one year I guess 99 that's when I started my business pro offset printing. I had already been doing some job work uh, in a shop I had in the backyard behind the house that's where I started out and uh, so I would take on odd jobs this that and the other and and uh, then when I finally got in between jobs I said well hey I'm gonna I'm going to try to get it going and, and uh, be self-employed, uh, just run my own shop. And so that's what I did. And I hustled, I worked hard, I worked night and day and pushed myself to the limits. Let me tell you, it was not easy. But anyway, it paid off and I grew and uh, reinvested my money back into the print shop. People would always ask me, they'd say, hey, well, you know, what do you print? And I said, well, I print forms and, you know, different books and cards and this, that and the other. And they'd say, well, what about shirts? Do you print shirts? And uh, I started thinking, hmm, uh, keep coming back up. I think about it again. Well, there, there must be something to this shirt printing. You know, if everybody's asking me about it, maybe I need to get started. I did make a few mistakes uh, with learning curve and screen printing and uh, equipment was one of them. And I sure wished I'd have known about the rock back when I got started, but I guess it was God's plan that I was supposed to, hey, learn a little bit about the basics and working on a manual and working with the wrong equipment before you get into the right stuff. I'm not going to even call that press that I had purchased an automatic. It was a semi-automatic. It was a lot of hard work. I mean, it was up and down tables and, and waiting for it to go and flipping switches and, and just a lot of delay and lengthy production times. I mean, I could run my manual quicker than I could run that thing. I had gotten that uh, press that I had paid for and went a few years and, and finally uh, I got to a position where, you know, it was time to make the move. And so um, I had gotten talk, talking with Charlie there from uh, Ryanette and uh, he was uh, telling me all about the rock press and uh, what it could do. And he said, hey, Call up these other people. Here's, here's some shops you can call. You call these guys, you talk to them, and uh, see what they have to say about the rock. And so he did, and, and I was real careful with this purchase to make sure that I covered all my bases. I didn't leave any stone unturned. Let me tell you what, by the time I finished calling people and asking questions and going to the show and, and uh, seeing what rock was all about, I knew all the ins and outs about it before I bought that piece of equipment. And uh, when it hit the floor, I couldn't have been happier because I knew that I had bought the right piece of equipment for pro offset printing. 